welcome to anybody who's watching. Uh, I'm going to try to do this raw and unedited. Uh, see how it works out. If you know anybody who might be interested in my content, please send them my way. Uh, share the link. Um, see if they can like and subscribe. I'd like to, my eventual goal is to be able to do things like this live. Uh, but obviously my tiny little channel does not allow me to do it yet. Unless somebody knows some technology that I don't. It is Friday. Uh, it's going on, it's like quarter to one, you know, uh, noon hour. And uh, I'm making a video. Um, you can see by the fact I'm wearing a scully, beanie, whatever you want to call it. I'm wearing a, a winter hat. Uh, I'm in Oregon, in case you, some of you might not know. And we have enjoyed an extended summer. Uh, a few days ago, I was still riding around in a t-shirt. Um, that's not real normal for here. Uh, but today, we have been, I, I woke up to normal October uh, winter weather. And uh, that means, for those of you not familiar, uh, being October is going to be in the mid-low 50s and it's going to be raining. And uh, for me, I don't know how anybody else sees it, uh, 50 degrees is, is like the, that's the line of demarcation. Uh, to me, 50 degrees is like upper 30s when you're riding. People that don't ride don't understand that. And, you know, they're like, oh, it's not that cold. Well, you can uh, throw on your defrost on low and stay warm in your cage. You don't have that option on your motorcycle. I hope uh, that I have subscribers and people that watch from various parts of the, the country. Uh, I even remember getting a subscriber from somewhere overseas, uh, somewhere in Europe. I, I want to say Swedish. Again, didn't do research. This is unscripted. So, and uh, so a lot of people have different uh, practices, different ways of doing things when the seasons change. Uh, about this time of year, you know, I'm on the Facebook pages, and 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 there's people on my Twitter and Instagram that are. Uh, from various parts of the country and I keep hearing the word winterize in relationship to your motorcycle they say winterize your bike and that still kind of makes me giggle a little bit um, people out here um, we ride in all kinds of crazy weather um, we have pretty much normally not this year it's been a little different but normally we have three to four months of summer and then eight to nine months of rain and cold rain cold i don't mind you put some more clothes on put a couple couple of hoodies stacked up and a good good riding shirt and nice vest and uh, you're good to go I, I can ride in sub freezing with uh, just a couple of carefully selected pieces of clothing and a good pair of gloves. Uh, rain, I don't mind. Um, I'm not big on rain gear, but if you wear the right leathers, word of advice, don't ride on a freeway in the rain. Um, I rode through Portland coming back from Washington one time in a pouring down rainstorm, and uh, I don't believe that they intentionally tried to give me a shower, but it uh, seemed like every vehicle that was sharing the highway with me did so. Uh, the rain doesn't bother me, the cold doesn't bother me, but cold and wet are not a great idea. Um, doesn't pan out very well, and then, uh, you know, you can drive into a gas station and see a six foot tall, 230 pound biker crying like a baby while he's shivering in the corner. A little embarrassing. Uh, so we try not to do that too much. But uh, my question, I'm going to ask a question here. Uh, throw your answer in the comments or whatever. Um, what do you do this time of year? Um, according to the weather, we're going into the rainy season finally. 
I'm not big on spending money on uh, weather specific gear. So I layer up. It could be 40 degrees when you leave and by the middle of the day the sun will come out and it'll turn 50 60 degrees and what are you going to do when all you're wearing is big heavy stuff uh i bought i recently invested i, I don't spend a lot of money on clothes um I'm, I'm pretty thrifty that way but i spent the money and bought a hundred plus dollar harley um flannel style shirt and i'll tell you what i have a uh pullover hoodie sweatshirt um it's a carhartt i believe not that i'm advertising carhartt but um i believe that's what it is i think i got it at uh, the local farm store on sale or something and then i put that uh, harley davidson um flannel over it and i was riding last night just fine with uh just you know three layers on my t-shirt that hoodie and the flannel and i've heard I, i've still got to try um, again, I don't spend a lot of money on clothes, so I'm waiting to justify the purchase. But I've heard Dixon uh, makes really, really good flannels. They, uh, one of the local bike stores actually uh, donated one for a raffle for an event we had not too long ago and uh, heard nothing but good things. I've never actually worn one, but I felt it, picked it up. It was pretty good. So when I ride in cold weather, I just throw a couple of heavy shirts on. And and, uh, and then make sure I have really warm gloves. Um, I ruined my riding gloves, so right now I have a pair of those like Atlas insulated work gloves, um, which aren't the most comfortable for riding, but they work really well. Anyways, um, what do you do? What do you put on? Um, do you have a favorite? Do you have something that you recommend? Even if you don't have it, do you have like something that you want to get? Like I said, for me, it's a Dixon. Um, I've seen a couple of good riding glove manufacturers out there. I'm going to go glove shopping here in a couple of weeks um, when I get a couple extra bucks to go do it because uh, gear is not cheap. Good gear. You get what you pay for. And if you don't want to wear five layers like I do because I don't wear expensive stuff, um, if you want to wear one layer of something really good, I do have a uh, denim riding jacket that has the uh, little zipper vents in the sleeves and whatnot that uh, actually works pretty good in this uh, medium spring or fallish for everybody else weather um, where it's it's warm and cold on the same day I gotta pull it out of my uh, closet and get it cleaned and all of that because I haven't worn it probably a year but um uh, do you prefer a lined leather jacket? Um, I have one of those and I don't wear it very often because I'm not actually that I'm not a fan of leather. I don't like wearing leather that much. So I like my denim jacket. I have a very good leather jacket that works really well in the rain, except for I don't like the fact that, you know, I, I wear half shell even in the rain because I wear goggles and, uh, it doesn't have any anything right here. The rain gets down inside of there. So um, if you do the same thing, how do you stop rain from getting inside your clothes? That's the, the thing that gets me. Um, it's not the direct rain coming, you know, from, you know, cars in front of you or whatever. It's, it's the rain that actually gets down inside your collar. Or if you forget, you're not wearing a long enough shirt or you forget to tuck it in and sooner or later it's dripping down the the crackier nether region back there and how, how do you how do you stop that from happening like i said i've learned to wear um water wicking long t-shirts that uh will cover up the the plumber's region back there and uh what what what, what kind of gloves do you recommend do you have a good wintertime set of gloves I'm looking for things like uh, any of the, any of you might be familiar with Milwaukee uh, battery clothing. I, I don't know exactly how you say it, but uh, they make uh, heated clothes that uh, operate on batteries. My uh, my video gear. I make sure I don't run plugs to anything. I cannot stand plugs, wires, cords hanging all over the place. I'm too OCD for that. 
and I move too much and I space it out and I forget and I jump off the bike and yank things off. Uh, what do you do in the winter if you don't winterize your bike? Now, like I said, being from Ohio and I know, you know, around between October, between Halloween and Thanksgiving is usually we end up with at least a foot of snow on the ground. I'm from northern Ohio, right? I'm from Cleveland, right on the lake. Um, lived in what we call the snow belt. About this time of year, we start hooking up snow plows to uh, to your pickup truck and uh, make sure your your uh, melt your your melting sal salts and uh, your shovels are at the front of your garage, and uh, so there it makes sense to winterize your bike if you're not gonna ride it uh, because of a foot of snow on the ground. Um, and also we have salt on the roads and I, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want my beloved Harley Davidson to be covered with salt after riding it for a day. So I don't think I would do that much, um, that much riding in the wintertime if I was there. But here we don't, we don't use salt on the roads and we don't get that much snow. So, uh, it's all about the gear. It's all about, uh, keeping yourself warm and dry so what what do you do what are your thoughts on this what what would you like to have um if somebody let's say if if, if you had the disposable income to buy whatever you wanted or if somebody were to gift you something um what would you like to have for gear what's on your your dream list for for wet weather riding gear given all the the prerequisites that i laid out here the the uh do's and don'ts that I have for myself and my own riding gear, it, it creates, uh, you know, it's it's not as easy as just running a Harley and buying a thick leather jacket and calling it good. Um, I, I believe in order to enjoy your ride, you have to be comfortable. If you watch this long, thank you very much. And um, uh, hopefully you're having a good riding day wherever you're at. Please, please leave some comments. I really want some feedback. I really want to hear from those of you who are taking the time to watch. Um, my journey is what it is now. It's uh, not just ramblings, it's actually a journey. Um, I have goals and a place I want to be. Um, thought about this a lot and talked about it with my wife and uh, she's excited for me to pursue these things. So I have the okay from the boss and it's time to make some of this stuff happen. Go out and get any riding in you can. Um, if you can, ride with purpose and uh, uh, hopefully that purpose is uh, giving joy or comfort to somebody else. Um, keep it on twos, stay real, stay happy, and stay safe. Uh, this is uh, Dog on a Hog Out.